Hi guys, today's video we are doing a big cookout mukbang which I am so happy about because I absolutely love cookout. I'm also going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me over on my Instagram. So let's head to cookout and get started. We have made it to cookout, probably one of my most favorite places ever. I am very excited about this video. Wowza! So I'm trying to decide between an orange push-up shake or a banana pudding shake. I don't don't know which one to get. The orange push-up shake is kind of like orange sherbet. I have been obsessed with sherbet here lately, like the little push-up pops. Those are so good. They're kind of like a sherbet-y ice cream. Oh, but I also want a banana pudding milkshake because Gabe got one the other night and it was so freaking good. I only had like a bite or two of it, but it was so good. So I think I might get the banana pudding. I feel like, mm, I don't know, the orange push-up is like more summery, so I don't know. Also, just so you guys know, in case y'all come to cookout, it is way cheaper to get a tray. I am not gonna get a tray just because it's more aesthetically pleasing to get everything separated as different sides. Because if you get a tray, they just put it like in the styrofoam tray. If you get it separate, they actually put it all in separate little baggies, which I prefer just for the purpose of the video. But if you do come here, make sure you get a tray because it's only $6 or seven dollars for a tray and you get your entree and two sides which is really good hi could i get the big double burger with mayo mustard ketchup pickles onions and lettuce and you want everything on it yes and also you want cheese on it? um yes please and the cajun seasoning all right get two sides um, could I get the full sized sides, not the tray, and can I get the white cheddar cheese bites and onion rings with cookout sauce? Okay, ma'am, you said three sides. I'm sorry, what was that? You said three sides. Um, the onion rings with cookout sauce and the white cheddar cheese bites. Yes, ma'am, you want an extra side of fries? Oh no, just the full sized sides. I don't want the tray. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't, you just want the burger, the side of onion rings, and a side of cheese bites? Yes. Can I get a corn dog as well? You sure can anything else? Yes. And then the banana pudding milkshake. All right. Is that a complete your order? Yes, ma'am, that's it. 1628, let's start you at the window, thank you. Okay, thank you. Kinda wish I would've got fries now, but I got the cheese bites and onion rings. I feel like that's good. And I honestly ordered the corn dog very last minute. I thought about getting the barbecue sandwich, but I was like, I feel like a corn dog goes better with a burger instead of a barbecue sandwich, but their barbecue sandwiches are so good. Hey, how's it going? Uh, 16 Thank you. And could I get um, cookout sauce and honey mustard? And do y'all have, oh, thank you. Do y'all have Texas Pete? Yeah. Okay, can I get some of that too? Okay, here's our shake. Mmm, this is gonna be so delicious. We got our Texas Pete. Put that right there. Honey mustard, cookout sauce, all the must-haves. Also, I have a new Starbucks cup. It is super summery. I absolutely love it. It's like the orange ombre cup. Literally looks like orange sherbet. <laughs> and I love it. Thank you. All right, guys. We have secured our cookout bag. Hey. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. Yes, yes I am. All right, you guys, so we are all set up and ready to dig in to our cookout mukbang. So let me show you guys what we got today. So here is our cookout burger. I got onions, mayo, pickles, ketchup, mustard, lettuce, and then we got two patties on there. So that is our burger. It looks so glorious. Yes, it does. And then we got our banana pudding milkshake. Mmm. 
super excited about that. We got our onion rings and their onion rings are so good. They actually gave me two things of onion rings. So I got two packs of onion rings. <laughs> and then we got our cheese bites, which I used to get a thumbnail, but I'm kind of cooling off now, but Oh my gosh, these are so good. It's extremely hot today, so I do have the AC on. Let's see if we can get another cheese bowl. Mm. They're a little bit too cooled off. Here's the cookout sauce. It's kind of like a twangy... I really know how I would describe it. And then there's our honey mustard. Let's dive into this burger first. Mm. Now this is a good freaking burger, you guys. Mm-hmm. If you go to cookout, make sure you get the Cajun seasoning on the burger. Makes it so much better. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up a question so we can get started. So, first question, what keeps you motivated? You always look really confident and you are a really positive person. Aw, thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. I do try and be as positive as I can. Um, okay, so I feel like my tips for staying positive and motivated is just focus on the positive. Like, I am someone who takes a lot of pleasure out of the simple things. Like, it's, it's the little things to me that I get a lot of pleasure out of. Like, oh. The shake, you guys, oh my gosh, like the shake. I'm getting pleasure out of the shake right now. It's the little things, but no. <laughs> like my morning coffee on the way to work, I have a pretty long commute to work, so enjoying my coffee in the morning. I get so much joy out of nature. I live in North Carolina, so it is very green here, but I love just driving down the road and seeing like, Seeing really enormous green trees just cascading down the road with a blue sky behind it. Like that to me is so beautiful. I get so much joy out of nature and I'm gonna have an orgasm over this food. <laughs> walking mellow, I love walking mellow. Coming home to mellow after work is so nice. We love to go to new places, so there are so many parks where I live and there's a lot of trails and parks that we've never been to. So I love going to parks with him that we've never been to and just sightseeing. Yeah, I don't know, just focusing on the little things, the little positive things that bring you joy. Like, I love catching a vibe, if you know what I mean. Like, where you just experience something that gives you this feeling, this really good energy is so nice. We actually live right behind a golf resort, so our apartment is basically connected to this golf resort, and we can walk on the golf course, like, when people aren't golfing on those holes. So... Oh, let me put that pickle right here. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when people aren't golfing, we'll walk mellow on the golf course. And that is such a vibe because the grass is so nice and green and it smells like fresh cut grass and they have it landscaped really pretty.
I feel like nature just brings me so much joy and it really helps keeping me positive. I'm not a very materialistic person. Like, don't get me wrong, I love nice things, but... My joy does not come from material items. It just comes from things that I love <laughs> and things that are good energy to me. But yeah, just have things that you love that bring you joy and just make sure you include those in your everyday life. Just focus on the positive. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Okay, did you watch Stranger Things 4? Yes, I did. You already know I did. Gabe and I binged it in literally two days. Oh my gosh, the ending? Okay, I don't wanna spoil anything, but I'ma just say I'm so ready for part two. <sighs> Next question, where do you shop your accessories, clothes, and makeup from? Okay, so I got a little bit of a, um, <gasps> Oh, that's a big old cheese bite. Oh my gosh. I should have got a thumbnail with this one. <laughs> no, but um, I'm actually banning, well, I have banned myself from fast fashion, kind of. At least in terms of Shein. I used to order so much stuff from Shein and... I've had to stop myself from purchasing Shein. I have not shopped from Shein in a few months now. I've actually been shopping everything from Goodwill. So I've been going to Goodwill, which is honestly pretty easy for me because I love flannels and oversized like men button ups. Cause I'll wear them like really loose and baggy over a cute crop top and like shorts or a cute little top. So I've been going to Goodwill a lot, but I used to shop at Shein a lot, but yeah, I'm trying not to shop fast fashion. Now, with that being said, I did go to the mall yesterday and I went to Forever 21 and H&M because I'm on the hunt for baby tees. Well, I was, I got so many cute baby tees yesterday. I'm actually wearing one right now. Oh my gosh, all my onions are falling off. Let me put those back on there because we definitely want those onions. Mmm. But yeah, I have had an obsession with baby teas. So. I couldn't find any baby tees at Goodwill. The top that I wore in my last Arby's mukbang was actually from Goodwill. It was like a Europe Bush Gardens shirt and it was pretty cute, but it wasn't quite the cut that I was looking for. So H&M and Forever 21 has a lot of good stuff right now, at least in terms of baby tees. If you are into baby tees like me, check out Forever 21 and H&M. But besides that, I am trying to stay away from fast fashion. My jewelry I get from Amazon and CNC Luxury. Hold on, let me figure out how to get a bite from this. Mmm. <laughs> These are some slimy onions. <laughs> Trying to make sure it doesn't get too dark. But yeah, my rings that I have on right now are from Amazon and CNC Luxury. CNC Luxury is actually owned by a YouTuber who I really love. And then Amazon has really good jewelry as well. Makeup is drugstore for the most part. I order a lot of lip stuff online. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get my like to know it off the ground and I will link everything on there for you guys. I just have not had time. <laughs> because I'm still working my job, so it's just a little bit hard, but I'm gonna get that up eventually. How do you deal with negative comments? Mm. Honestly, I feel like with negative comments, you just build tough skin over time. Like, when I first got a negative comment, my very first negative comment, I was so upset, and I thought about that negative comment so much, but now I get them, and I'm just like, 
Okay, dude, sit the F down. <laughs> I will say negative comments from girls hurt way worse than negative comments from guys. Whenever I get a negative comment from a guy, I'm just like, whatever. Negative comments from girls hurt a little bit more, but again, you just don't pay attention to them. You know, that negative comment reflects them, not you. So you just have to remember they're making that negative comment because most likely they are I don't know people make negative comments for lots of reasons and you just can't think about it you got to ignore it because you're not gonna please everyone not everyone is going to like you and that is okay so my skin has definitely gotten thicker with time and bite into this corn dog before it gets too cold Mm. Mm, delicious do you live alone or with friends so Gabe and I actually live together we have been living together for a year now and we actually just extended our lease for another 16 months so you're pretty much committed <laughs> I know I've talked about my kind of relationship issues in the past and things are really good right now they've actually been really good for a while now so I'm very happy and I know people are gonna have their opinions but at the end of the day no one knows your relationship like you do so I know how I deserve to be treated maybe I didn't six years ago eight years ago but I feel like now I do and for me it's all about actions actions speak way louder than words and I would say the actions in my relationship have always been amazing I just let words get to me not that words are bad but like the thing is is we just have very different opinions on marriage that's kind of like the main thing is like the marriage thing a lot of people don't want to get married a lot of people do want to get married and whenever you disagree on that it causes a lot of issues so that's kind of the biggest struggle for me like i just love companionship i think companionship is more important than marriage I do want to get married though, so it's like, it's hard. It's very hard. So I don't know. <laughs> There's no simple answer. But yeah. Gabe and I live together with Little Mello. <laughs> Have you been to NYC? If yes, how was your experience? If no, would you want to go there? So I have been to New York City. I've been twice. New York City is so magical. Sorry, I had to restart my camera. It feels like it's going to melt because it's so hot out. <laughs> but yeah, New York City is so magical. I freaking love it. I would love to go back but as y'all know i am going to utah this year so utah will kind of be our big vacation nyc is not the best for like fast food content like this if i went to new york city i would probably just mostly vlog i wouldn't really do fast food videos utah is perfect because they have so many fast food videos that i want to do but yeah i love new york and I definitely plan on going back someday. Mm. Also, I'm just gonna say you guys, 
for the last like 10 to 15 videos maybe 20 videos i try so hard to look at the camera and not the viewfinder but when you don't look at the viewfinder it feels like you have no clue what's going on in the video if that makes sense like sometimes i don't even know if i'm recording i don't know if it's blurry i don't know if the lighting's good so you kind of have to look at the viewfinder so you know like what's going on making sure like everything looks good it's hard to just look at the lens so I'm trying to like have a good balance of looking at the viewfinder and looking at the lens because I feel like you can kind of tell when I'm looking at it when I'm not looking at it maybe not I don't know anyways okay I got this question so much <laughs> how am I doing mentally how is my mental health because I feel like I've been pretty open about my mental health on here so you guys are always like asking me how I'm doing, which I really appreciate. So thank you guys so much for asking me. But yeah, my mental health has been really good actually. Um, I think it helps that things are really good in my relationship and things have been good for a while now. So that obviously helps a lot, but like I said, I have just been joying, joying in, I'm gonna chew my food and swallow it. I have been enjoying the little things. I've been enjoying nature. I've been enjoying just all the things that really bring me joy. And that really helps your mental health. You know, spending time with family, with mellow, just with all the good stuff in life. It really helps. <laughs> So, things have been awesome. And I hope things are going well for you all. How is y'all's mental health? Let me know. A lot of y'all are so open with me in my comments and I just appreciate it so much because I feel like we're just building a really nice community on here and I really like it, but doing youtube and having like a creative outlet really helps i'm a very creative person so it's nice having something that i can express myself and i feel like that really helps with my mental health as well oh has name i remember you has name <laughs> they said firstly i'm a big og fan of yours since 3k subs i remember you yes i do and my biggest question to you is what is your biggest addiction <laughs> this is an easy one my biggest addiction is definitely coffee I just love coffee so much. I gotta have it. <laughs> I'm definitely addicted to coffee. Did you get your new tattoos? Oh my gosh, this question makes me so sad because I have not gotten my new tattoos yet. And honestly, it's just because I'm so freaking busy. Like I just have not been able to go. Like on the weekends, it's just like spend time with Mello, spend time with Gabe, film YouTube, all stuff that I love to do that I am prioritizing. Like I am prioritizing spending time with them and doing YouTube because I love it. You know, so I just have not gone to get the tattoos yet. <laughs> and I need to. I need to so bad. This shake is delicious. I've already ate like half of it. This is the highlight of this meal. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, what would be your dream place to live if cost didn't matter? Actually, this would be New York City for sure. I have said in previous videos that I want to go out west. Not the west coast. More like the southwest area. But... If we're talking like cost and budget is not the in the equation definitely new york city like can i just live in a penthouse in new york city like can that be a thing <laughs> i would love to live in new york city i love watching like new york city vlogs it's just so nice out there and i am all about romanticizing your life 
no matter where you live or what you're doing or what kind of lifestyle you live but there's just something so intriguing about living in new york city something like i guess it's just a vibe it's just a vibe <laughs> do your co-workers know about your youtube channel i've answered this before and the short answer is yes a lot of people at my work do know about my youtube channel <laughs> would you ever move to la to better pursue youtube hell no absolutely not i don't think i would go to california in general y'all i am a southern girl southern girl from nc i ain't going to california <laughs> no offense to anyone in california i'm sure i have a lot of people from california watching my channel it's nothing against people in california it's just the lifestyle of la I just could never. I could never. <laughs> do you believe in zodiac or do you believe zodiac sign is important in relationships? So it's funny because <laughs> Gabe, as well as my ex boyfriend, who I was with, so I've been with Gabe for over two years now, and my ex I was with for four years. Both of them are Libras. I'm a Cancer. And Cancers are least compatible with Libras. <laughs> but honestly, I feel like me and Gabe and me and my ex were super compatible. So no, I don't believe Zodiac signs are important in relationships or like, I don't consider it in relationships. Have you ever asked a guy out to be turned down? <laughs> I do not ask guys out. That is not me. I don't, I have a very hard time approaching people cause I'm so shy. Like, I don't do it. Even reaching out to girls and trying to start a friendship with a girl or a guy, I just really struggle with. I'm just so shy and I fear rejection. I think one of my bigger fears in life is rejection. I really struggle with it. So I've never asked a guy out. Well, actually, probably when I was younger like I've told an embarrassing story of me on my YouTube channel before about a situation that happened you would just have to watch it I'm not going back into it but maybe when I was younger but as I got older I got more shyer so well I've always been shy but yeah no I don't really ask people out oh okay so I'm gonna end off with one last question this is about mellow um this person asked I want a shih tzu pup can you talk about mellow's maintenance code allergies etc oh my gosh you guys like mellow 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 is so much work I had no clue shih tzus were so much work but I have to brush him every single day if you don't brush shih tzus every day their fur will mat up especially their ears I've had to cut mats out of his ears because even if you brush the ear it will still mat at the very like root where the where like his actual ear meets the start of the fur it mats really easily right there and even if you brush it you can like not brush it good enough and it will still mat so you have to get a shih tzu groomed every four to six weeks i was going every six weeks but now i go every five weeks because it's just so much work you have to brush their fur every single day or it will mat up <laughs> Um, I used to clip his toes myself, but now the groomer clips them. So going to the groomer every few weeks helps a lot with maintenance, but yeah, their fur mats so easily. Um, now Mello doesn't really have any allergies. I have him on the pre pure can't talk. I have him on the Purina Pro Plan. I think it's Purina Pro Plan. I think that's the name. But his stomach is very, very sensitive. He has no interest in human food. He loves ice cream, but we'll only feed him like um like fruit like real fruit ice cream, if that makes sense. Besides ice cream, he does not get any human food, his food. He gets a lot of like dog treats, but 
yeah it's a lot of maintenance with their fur you have to be really really cautious with brushing and making sure you really like get in there so i do have to keep mellow's fur relatively short so it doesn't mat up i didn't really know that much about shih tzus and brushing them so it's definitely been a learning experience but once i realized how easily his fur mats up i've been really like careful with brushing him so yeah but wow you guys this is probably a really long video <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and doing this little Q&A session and enjoying some cookout food. Definitely recommend cookout if y'all are ever near a cookout. It is absolutely fabulous, delicious. Drop me thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you all had an amazing Memorial Day. Bye guys!